everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, I decided that I wanted to create a tier list of all the kits. So I will be doing this for the stuff packs, the game packs, and also the expansion packs. Those will be separate videos, so that way they're not that long, so look out for that. But I guess we should get started. Oh, there's a new event coming. That's so weird. I just got this pop-up. Coming soon, new event. The Cozy Celebrations event starts December 3rd. Earn festive rewards by completing quests. Okay, question is what we're gonna get. So like this person has mittens on their head. So I don't want to read into this. Oh my gosh This is not the video, but I thought we shall start with the first kit Which is the throwback fit kit both of these things are free. So don't look at that But so obviously this is a creative sim kit and I would say I'm more of a gameplay person and a build person more gameplay I feel I don't know but I'm not in creative sim that much But I don't hate creative sim because I will spend hours dressing my sim up if they like just just aged up so like yeah but I will admit I don't use this kit that often like I used it before I just don't use it that often I use them sometimes but not frequently so if I were to rank the throwback fit kit I would say is it like I do agree I feel like we definitely need more active wear but I just don't know if that's my style so that's why it's just like eh, it's okay and also I am rating these by need good okay eh, yeah next up we have the sims for a country kitchen kit. I'm a person that always loves to get a new kitchen set because it's just nice to have a lot of varieties but it's not my favorite. I don't use it a lot. To be honest like I like it but I don't feel like I use this kit a lot at all. Even if I have my sims living in Hinford on Bagley I'm most likely going to use the cottage living counters because I just think those look better. I guess the reason I don't like it as much is because like it's very rustic. It's very country rustic and I just I guess that's not my favorite. I guess I don't have much to say about this kit so if I were to rate it I would say it's okay like I like the idea of it if they want to give us another kitchen set I'm not going to be mad about it and then next up we have the sims 4 bust the dust kit um a lot of people don't like this and I can understand if you're a type of person that doesn't like to have chores in your game. Um, I can definitely understand why you would not buy this kit. By just looking at it, it's just five items. It's just five vacuums. Realistically, there's only two items in here. You have a handhold vacuum and then you have the regular vacuum and then you just have more variations of it. And if you don't like your Sims doing chores, this is not the pack for you. But I will say it has two aspirations. I don't know if they work that well. I don't know if they fixed it or whatever but they also come with dust bunnies and you can get money from them basically you can have them like search for valuables and sometimes they will search up something that is worth eight thousand simoleons so if you wanted to do like a rags to riches with them you definitely could i caught a money fruit before so i'm just saying it's pretty nice i know a lot of people wouldn't rank this kit high on their list but i think it's a pretty good kit i don't like the thought that it's in second place i don't know like it's good maybe maybe it's okay next up we have the sims 4 courtyard oasis kit and i will say i again never built with this pack before i just i don't know i like it it's cool i just feel like there's not enough of it like if they could give us like a whole game pack expansion pack based on this style then i would love it because then I have something to go for. I could go all out with this style and not have to mix styles together. So if I were to tell you to buy this or not, I would probably say no. Like, it's just, it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna put it eh, just because like, give us more of it. Next up, we have the Sims for Fashion Street kit. And I will say, I'm a huge fan of like a lot of the Kratosim kits. I personally like this kit. I don't use it a lot, I will admit. I love this dress. This dress is gorgeous. I love this jumper and then I love the henna and then also I used the nose ring before so that's good. So if I were to rank this pack I would probably put it at the top of okay. Not that I hate it I'm just like in the middle like it's not my favorite it's not my second favorite but it's okay. And then next up we have the sims for industrial loft kit so obviously this kit is very industrial and I don't really build industrial things. I feel like I tried before and I just don't like what I'm doing. But if I were to say how many times I use these objects, I definitely use the rug multiple times. I probably use the arch 
a couple of times. I don't really use this pack unless like I'm really trying to go for an industrial look, which is very rare for me. So I wouldn't say it's my favorite pack. So I'm just gonna say that this pack is okay. It's not bad, but it's okay. It's okay for the style that it is. I feel like we're going through these pretty fast, which is good because we have 35 kits. Moving on to the Sims 4 Incheon Arrivals kit. Now this pack, this creative sim kit, I love. I love the boots. I use this top. I use this. Sometimes I forget about it. I try to like use it for my winter wear, but it's not in that category. So I do forget about it, but I love it. I love this sweater. I don't really dress up masculine sims a lot, but if I do, I'm using this. I'm using this. And am I missing something? Oh, maybe the top I'm thinking of is from another pack, but I'm using this. I use these sneakers and these boots a lot and this top like and these shoes actually. I just think it's all good and I also use these for male sims as well but they all are so beautiful like I love this kit okay I'm gonna say I need it but it's probably gonna be like at the end like it's gonna be at the edge of the list you know it's such a good create a sim kit okay and then we have the sims for modern menswear kit if they could do another kit based around man fashion that would be good because I just don't think they have enough outfits for masculine sims and as a person who doesn't really play with masculine sims. I don't use this kit at all. Actually, I use these shoes, like these shoes. I don't think I use these. I use these shoes a lot. I also use this sweater a lot. Oh, I love that sweater. I used this once. Again, I don't play with masculine sims a lot, so I probably use both of these one time. Maybe these a couple of times just because like it's a nice sweater, but I think like these are probably the two most items that I use. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to like say it's eh because I don't use it, but it's like at the top of eh, you know, it's at the top. Well, no, maybe it's at the middle because I never use this. I use this sometimes. I probably use this the most, but next up we have the Sims Floor Blooming Rooms Kit. I definitely used this a lot before. I use this plant, this plant, the hanging plant, Plant, but I definitely can live without it. Like I definitely will miss this plant. I'll miss this plant. I'll miss the hanging plant because it's like the only hanging plant we have. But a lot of them are just weird. Like these tables. Never used it before. This is like a little too big. Same with this. I feel like I don't have space for it usually unless like I build with it in mind. So if I were to rate this, I would put it at good. It's plants. Also, it's just like, it's just plants, you know? I don't think this pack is worth $5. Like there's only 24 items and I guess you could say that with every kit. For some reason, I feel like plants are just so little to me. Whereas if I were to buy a whole living room set kit, I think it would be more worth it. And next up, we have the Sims 4 Carnival Street Kit. I like it, but I just don't use it a lot. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be the nails, but if your Sims go out a lot, I feel like this is the pack for you. Like, I feel like if your sim goes out, this is the pack to get. But if I were to rate it, I would just, I might put it at the top of eh, just because like I never use it. I don't really have my sims go out that much, so I feel like I don't have a purpose for it, but that's just my thought. And then we have the decor to the max kit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it at yuck. I'm so sorry, but this is a maximalist kit and I don't build in that style. I just it's very much clashing and I guess that's what you can expect from a maximalist kit but I just can't build like that like I will be there for 10 hours straight being like is this okay is this supposed to go together moving on to the sims 4 moonlight cheek kit I love this kit I use the shoes a lot honestly but also this pack also screams going out to me so again I don't use it that much like I don't use it that much I feel like when it just came out maybe I used it a lot more so if I were to rate the moonlight cheek kit I would probably say it's okay like I like it but I don't know if I should put it up higher because I just don't use it a lot like I don't get enough use of it you know so maybe I wasted my five dollars but I use these shoes a lot so like maybe I didn't like I probably use these shoes enough that it's worth five dollars okay that's not true it's just a pair of shoes but next up we have the sims 4 little campers kit 
hit. And I feel like you guys are gonna sense a theme here, but we're just not to the latest kits yet. But I don't use this kit a lot either. Um, I love the swing set. I love this thingy. I guess like the dollhouse is okay. And I love the idea of having this movie screen made out of a bed sheet, but it's a cute way to decorate your backyard space, especially if you're having a sleepover. So if I were to rate this, I will put it at good and I'll put it at the top of good. Now I feel bad for putting Moonlight Cheek at okay, but I'm trying to put it at the top. Um, I don't think the Fashion Street kit wants me to put it at the top. I'm so sorry. I mean, it is good though. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna put it at good, okay? I changed my mind. And then we have the Sims 4 Fits kit, and I also love this kit. Um, I don't know if I use it that much for kids, just because I feel like usually I want to go for something colorful, and I wouldn't say this is that colorful. I use the shoes a lot. I love this top. I also love this top and I also love this because it has like a little bag behind it but it is a pretty good kit so I think I will put this at good. And then we have the Sims 4 Desert Luxe kit and I got this kit actually no on my PS4. I believe I got it for free but I had to buy it for my PC so yeah that sucks. <laughs> the fact that if you move platforms you have to buy everything over again. I love the curtains because this is like the first time they gave us a curtain rod so I love that. I don't think I ever used this window in a serious way. I love the grill, love the lounge chairs. It's still something I don't use a lot. I use the curtains all the time and that's pretty much it. I will rank this at good because to me it is good. I, I just love the curtains. And then we have the Sims 4 pastel pop kit and I probably use this a lot more than the other kits so far that we named except for the Blooming Rooms kit. I probably use that multiple times but I don't know. This is like fun to decorate a child's or a teen bedroom with. I always use this chair. I love the carpet. I love the cork board and the wallpaper is so good. So if I were to rate this, I would put it at the top of good. I wouldn't say I need it. I will definitely miss the wallpaper, but that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Then we have the Sims 4 Everyday Clutter Kit. So this kit is just like a bunch of clutter and I'm a person who clutters a lot. So I use all of these things several times. Maybe not all of them. Like I don't always put this fishing rod. I don't always. Like this is a kit that will probably be used in most of my builds if I don't limit myself. And I don't know. I feel like it's hard to say something is good but it's also hard to be like I need this. I can't live without this. I think it's probably crazy to say I need the everyday clutter kit but I think I need it just for the extra bit of clutter and that's so sad. That is so sad but next up we have the same for a sentiment kit. So this is basically just like a pajama kit mixed in with the lingerie kit. So I don't know. I like it when it came out just because I feel like again we don't have enough pajama stuff. So if I were to rate this I would probably say it's okay. Like a lot of the things in there are like bras and I don't think a lot of people sleep in bras. Like I'm not gonna sleep in these things you know like I'm not gonna sleep in it. So it's kind of more leading lingerie I guess but like would you wear this as lingerie? I don't know, but I wouldn't wear it to sleep either. I don't know, but next up we have the Sims 4 bathroom kit. Okay, so this kit, I love it because it makes me want to like decorate my bathrooms a lot more because usually they're not that decorated without this kit. Um, Usually they're way more simple and I use this candle so much and I hate that it's in this kit because I feel like I need this candle. I definitely need this candle and I could like live without everything else. This kit also offers us a more simple toilet paper holder which is nice but I will say the quality of these items are not so good. So like this it has like a brush on top of it and like some hair bows but it's flat. The hair bows are flat. This blow dryer the extension piece is flat. The text on a lot of these items are blurry which I guess is not the worst because like you're not gonna really look that close to it because it's just clutter but like I can't use this. I use it sometimes but it's just flat so it's weird. So if I were to rate this kit I'm gonna say it's okay but for the candle 
I need the candle. I need the candle so bad. And then we have the Sims 4 Greenhouse Haven kit. So this kit is really nice if you want to build a greenhouse. And obviously without the kit, you can still do that. But it just has nicer doors. It has nicer windows. It has greenhouse clutter. It has this nice flooring. This plant I use a lot. And if you were to buy it, depending on my opinion, I would say, I don't know. Here's the thing. Gardening is bugged. So I would tell you not to buy it. Like obviously, Obviously, this is just clutter. It doesn't come with like any planting boxes either. So it's just clutter, but like gardening is bugged. Like the plants always glitch and die. So personally, I haven't been playing with a lot of gardens because of that reason. I feel like it has gotten slightly better, but it's still bugged. So it's like, there's no point in buying this pack because gardening is bugged. So you might not enjoy it that much unless you're a builder and you just want to build with this kit, then that's fine. But if you actually want to build and play with it, I guess maybe not. I don't know. But also you probably should not listen to someone to buy a kit because I feel like you should be able to like look at the objects for yourself and choose if you think it's good for you or not. So if I were to rate this pack, I'm gonna say it's good. I'll put it in third place of good because I like it. And I also love gardening in this game, but it's bugged. So like my favorite part is just bugged and it sucks. But next up we have the Sims 4 Basement Treasures Kit. So this is just like a lot of of things you could find in a basement and you already know my answer I don't use this at all like I don't use it at all. I probably used this TV once and probably because it's cheap. If you were to buy it, depending on what I say, I would say don't buy it. It's another yuck. Yeah, I know. It's so sad, but if I'm building a basement, it's because I need it, not because I want to fill it with trash. And then next up, we have the Sims 4 Grunge Revival Kit. And for this pack, I love the shoes. I love the scrunchie. And honestly, that's probably it. Like, I do like this shirt. I think these shorts are pretty nice as well well as the dress and it's just grunge so I don't really like it it's not my favorite it's not something I use all the time so I would probably say it's at okay like it's at the edge of okay it's just not my taste you know but then next up we have the sims for book knit kit and I love this pack it's so cute I love the couch this couch specifically I love the matching chair I love the bookshelves because you can like slot them together I use these book paintings a lot and then I love of these stack of books in this drink tray and this rug. I use the rug a lot too. If I were to rate it, I would probably say, do I need it? I don't know. It's a kit. Do I need it? I think I do. Like if I were to buy a kit first, it would probably be this one. Probably should move it to the front or to the middle. I think the middle fits. Then we have the Sims 4 pool size splash kit, which I think is nice. I love the nails. They come in very colorful colors. I love the new swimsuits. Honestly don't know what these objects are and honestly I always thought to myself like we need more swimsuits there isn't enough swimsuits and I still agree with that even though this year they did give us plain swatches of some of the swimsuits from base game which was nice but I always like seeing something new if I were to rate it I would probably say it's okay also I don't think this should be that high I probably like dust the bus more than the sentiments kit yeah I'm gonna put that at the end but that feels more right but yeah it's just like a swimwear kit if if you're fine with the ones we have that is cool and also if you don't have that many gameplay saves going on you probably have more than enough swimsuits depending on what packs you have but for someone who has like eight gameplay saves i don't want to use the same thing over and over i know i have a problem and then we have the sims for a modern lux kit and again i don't really build fancy houses i feel like so i feel like this is not for me i don't build luxurious houses i use the purse a lot though because that is entry clutter that is nice and i love these two chairs i love the shelf i love the pillows i love the record player i love the vanity it's my favorite vanity that we have in the game i love the lights i love the mirror and I love the frame TV and I love the plant. I love the curtains, the curtain rod. I don't know why I'm naming everything I like. Pretty much all of it. I basically named every single thing I like in this kit. So if I were to rate it, I would say it's pretty good. I don't use it that much. So I probably would put it in third place. I don't know if I should look at it like that. <laughs> like a second place, third place. It's just like based on how many times I use it. I probably use the Miro like so many times. And then we have the Sims 4 Castle Estate Kit. I don't build castles. I just don't build castles. 
castles. I haven't built a castle yet. I kind of built like a castle graveyard, but it was very small because it was for a grave hunt that I was doing for my blackout bingo challenge, except it wasn't really for her. I just wanted to do a grave hunt. I kind of use it there and I use it for the flooring. Like I use like the flooring a lot because it's pretty cute. Not a lot on special occasions. So I probably use the flooring a total of like three or four times. And I'm not like a castle-y person. I don't think I ever will build a castle. And next up we have the Sims 4 Goth Galore kit. And it's kind of the same thing with the grunge kit. It's just not my style. I never used it before. Like it's good, but I just never used it before. So like I'll probably put it at the edge of okay. Like I feel like I'm more likely to use the grunge stuff than the goth stuff just because it's not my style. And I feel like the grunge has something that I would use a lot more than this. Like I'll use the lipstick. I just don't know about any of the other clothing because it's just not my style. Then we have the Sims 4 Urban homage kit. Um, I love the butterfly top. I love this head wrap. I love the nails. I used the nails a few times as well as this shirt. I will say I don't use it a lot though. Like I probably use the nails sometimes and this bodysuit but that's probably about it. So if I were to like rate this I think it's good. Yeah it's good. Like I'll put it at the edge of good just because I don't use it that much. And then we have the Sims 4 Party Essentials Kit. I will say I know a lot of people were kind of like huh what is this? This is like the worst kit ever which five dollars for this is crazy and I'm this is like the only time I said this ever in my life but this could have been a base game update. Like that's the only only time I have ever heard those words come out of my mouth because everyone on Twitter especially they think everything should have been base game. Life and death should have been base game. For rent should have been base game. But this is like the only kit where I was like this this could have been base game because base game does not have that many like party decorations at all. But I don't know I like the bar. I don't really put bars in my sims home so I don't use it that much. I also love the tv though. I love the record player. But yeah I'm not gonna lie though. At the same time I'm kind of happy that we got that kit just because we don't have a lot of party stuff but for five dollars I don't think it's worth it and I still think it should have been a base game update. I probably would put it at eh like it's okay it's not the best kit they ever made. And then we have the Sims 4 Riviera Retreat kit. I don't use this kit a lot either. I just I don't know if I just haven't had a chance to use it because like the kits come out so frequently but it's a nice backyard kit I I guess. I love this like trellis pergola thingy. I love the rocks, the lounge chairs, the floaty is nice. And I love the waterfall rocks and this plant. Since I don't use this a lot, I think I might rate it at good. Like it's a good pack. I just don't use it that much. And I also don't build a lot of community lots. So the cozy bistro kit is good if you're going for a particular style. I might rank it at good as well or at okay. I'm undecided. I think it's good. I just don't build community lots that much. And then the Sims for Artist Studio kit. I love this kit. We got a new woodworking table, which I love because I hate the one from base game. And I feel like I usually always have my Sims paint. So like we have a new easel, a new sketch pad, a new woodworking table, and then the rest of it is pretty much just clutter, but it's cute clutter. So if I were to rate this, I probably would say I need it to be honest with you. Like at this point I would be like oh I want that so bad. And then for the Sims 4 Sturry Book Nursery Kit. So a lot of these items are very expensive and I will say I did use it in a serious way because like my Sims in Bloom Rose Generation Sim has this nursery at the moment and like the items are cute but I don't think it's something I will use all the time. So like it's good but I think I'll just put it at the top of okay just because like one I'm not going to use it a lot and it's also not my style. And then that leaves us with the two new latest kits. So the Sims 4 Sweet Slumber Party Kit is so nice. Like as I said before I feel like we need more pajamas. So I was happy to hear when we got this kit. I love the socks. I love the slippers. I love this top. I love the bottoms. I love the star pimple patches. I love the nails. The nails are so cute. I feel like this pack is still new so I just haven't had a chance to use it that well yet. 
yet. And also I just haven't been making like a lot of creative sim videos lately, but this stuff is so cute and I love it. I'm definitely gonna use this a lot, especially for my teenagers. So I'm gonna say it's good, but where? Or honestly, I don't know if I need it. I don't know. It's so new, so I don't know if I can rate it just yet. But honestly, I feel like if I just had the base game, I would really want more pajama sets, especially for teenagers, because I also feel like for teenagers, there's not many clothing in the base game that screams teenagers because they're already the same height as young adults plus. So I feel like this could help them stand out a little bit. Not that you can't use this stuff for adults, but you could, but I'm just saying like, this would be nice if you just had the base game and you wanted more pajama stuff and things that scream teenagers. And then the Sims 4 Cozy Kitsch Kit. I love this kit so much. I love it so much. And I do like building, so I feel like I could see myself building with these items a lot. Like, they're just so nice. They're so well made. I love the couch. I love the bookshelves, the paintings, the candles, the flowers, the stool, the lights, the chair, the dining table for real. I love everything about this pack. Like, it's a full living room set, and that is so nice. Plus, a dining room set, because that's just, it's so cool. I love this pack. But if I were to rate it, I don't think I could rate it the same as need just because it has a certain style to it whereas I'm not sure if I would use it a lot that I need it that bad but I would probably say it's at the top of good so this is how my tier list is looking at the moment and yeah there's just like a lot of kits in this game but I'm trying to think to myself like is there any way I would like to like rearrange this stuff I would probably put the decor to the max pack at the edge I can definitely see myself using basement treasures a lot more than the decor to the max kit. Um, and then we have eh. I think this seems pretty much right. Maybe I should keep the throwback kit at the front just because like I'm a lot more likely to use the active stuff more than the party stuff. And I think this all seems to be correct. I don't know. I feel like I need to move this up. Maybe just right here. It feels right because I just don't use the country kitchen kit that much. So I feel like I, I like the swimwear. It's pretty nice. And then I think everything on this list is probably correct. Same with the need list. But yeah, I'm really confident in my tier list. Hopefully you are too. So I think most of the kids are good. And I only need five kids that I can't live without. So I don't think that's a bad thing. Let me know what you think about these kids and like how you would rank them. Are we very different in our ranking? I would be very curious to know. But honestly, I think I probably should leave this video off here. And I do want to tell you that this video took me 48 minutes and just imagine how long the expansion pack video is going to take because the expansion packs have a lot more content than this. These are just items. Expansion packs have gameplay to think about but if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe. I'm gonna leave this tier maker down below in case you want to make one yourself because I couldn't find one with the updated kits and I guess that goes to tell you how many kits they make. People can't keep up but I love you, you are important, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!